of sweet peas today for you. I'm going to be swatching and kind of testing some polishes that Bow Nail Polish sent over to me. They are color changing polishes in some shape, way, or form, meaning there are thermals in here and solar activated polishes. So we're going to look at all of them. On this little graphic, the top row is its normal state that it's going to look like more often than not on your nails, and the bottom row is what it's going to change to. So let's actually start swatching. So the first shade here we have is called Miracle, and on the website that you can purchase this on, which I will have linked down below, they have this labeled as a thermal and a solar polish. So in the thermal, they show it kind of changing to a minty shade, and then the solar aspect changes it to kind of a purpley shade. So I will say that thermal-wise, I didn't get it to change at all. I ran it under extremely hot water, extremely cold water, nothing really happened. So for the most part, this polish stays this kind of grayish, silvery shade throughout the day when you're inside and you're doing everyday activities. And it's a really pretty polish and it covers in about three coats as you guys have seen me put on here. And then if you do go outside in the sunlight, it will change colors. And this is where it changes to a really nice kind of lavendery shade. And I did find that this only happens outside, not under any like super bright lights inside. Nothing about it is thermally activated. It happens rather quickly and it doesn't last a ton. So this, you're really only gonna have the gray shade unless you are spending a ton of time outside. As you guys can see there at the back, the bottle is gray. So there was that. And then the next shade we have is called Love at War. And this one was only labeled as a solar polish, which was pretty exciting because before these, I have not really played with many solar polishes. So this was a lot of fun. This is kind of a pink scattered holographic shade that by itself, even not having any special effects to it is really pretty. It's a bit sheer and it takes about three coats to build it up to full coverage and you can also see it kind of dulls down with each coat so it's definitely one that will benefit from a top coat, a shiny top coat that is. And this one is going to change when we take it outside but other than that it's not going to change. It's going to look like this on your nails more often than not. And here it is outside as you guys can see it's the pink shade. Then we're going to go over to the sun. And in the sun, it doesn't change a ton. It does get purpley -er, like you were seeing in the bottle there, versus the back of the bottle, which is still pink. Now it's turning purple. But for the most part, it's going to stay pink. It's not a super strong purple. And like I said, that's only going to be showing when you're outside, too. So lastly, we have the thermal polish that is actually a thermal polish. And this is interesting because it is classified as a top coat. So I'm actually going to show it to you guys here swatched by itself because I did get it up to full coverage. But then in the transition video, you guys, not video, the footage, the photo, the graphic that you guys are going to see, you'll see why I put it as a top coat. So if you want to build this polish up, you can get it to a decent coverage in about three coats. But this bold blue shade is its kind of cold state, but whenever it kind of adapts to your body temperature, it does become a lighter sheer shade, even in three coats, which is why I think they label it as a top coat. So for pictures, I did put it on top of a white polish, which you guys are going to see now. And the lighter side is it over white polish and body temperature, and then the other side is over white polish, but like cold temperature. So there's its sort of change. Now here is a whole look at all three of the polishes that we looked at. Like I mentioned earlier, the top row is the normal standard state of the polish. The bottom row is the temporary kind of changes that they will have every now and then. Overall, I feel like these polishes were really fun. I would say Miracle was a little bit of a disappointment, only in the fact that the website said that it was a thermal and a solar polish, but really I only really got one change out of it, but since it's really a pretty polish either way, I still really liked it. And then the other two are just really pretty by themselves, even if they didn't have the special effects. So I like that. I think the 
top coat thermal changing one is really interesting. I've not seen anything done like that. And I feel like there's some potential fun nailer ideas we could do later on. So all in all, these are really neat. I will send you over or I will share a link to the shop that these were sent to me from. And they have also provided me with a discount code that I can share with you guys. So I will put that down below in the description box as well. That's just for you guys. There's nothing. It doesn't affect you either way, just so you know. It's just hopefully to help you if you want to purchase something on their site and get a little bit of a better price. So I think that is officially it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about how these polishes work or anything, let me know down below and I will do my best to help you out. But other than that, I think that is all for today. I hope you guys are having a really nice day and I will talk to y'all later. Bye!